Hello and welcome to the McKelvey Group Training Module. We will be training in Excel. In this video, we will be learning about the if not function. That means we will learn how to use the if and not functions together. Using the if not function is beneficial because if you're already using the if function, it allows you to flip something and make it easier to read and make sure that our formulas are correct. In the example problem provided in this video, we have the monthly sales for products 1, 2, 3, and 4 and their overall sum total. We have rows for their expected and actual sales and a row to show how much they were over or under their expected sales. Any amount under will be in parentheses. We only have provided to us the expected and actual sales for products one and two, and therefore we should not see any values listed in the over under cells yet for products three and four, since we're still missing actual sales. We want to make sure they still stay blank. The way that we would do this is by using an if or if not function. For the first product, we have provided to us already the over and under value. And to find this, we have the formula if D5, which is the actual sales, doesn't say anything, then D6, which is the over under cell, shouldn't say anything either. But if it does, then D minus D4 would populate the cell as it has. Now, since we are putting in the value if false because it does say something. For example, there are values for D4 and D5. It can be confusing. So what we will do alternatively is the following formula in case there aren't any values there. And that formula is, if we go ahead and type it into our formula bar or into the cell itself directly, equals if parentheses, then not parentheses E5 which is the actual sales for product two equals nothing, close parentheses, comma. So essentially the same formula as below, but we just switched the order, and now we can put the actual value we would like to compute, which is E5 minus E4, comma. And then if it is nothing, we would have it say nothing, and close parentheses and hit enter to solve. So again, that would compute the exact same function. As you can see here, it's very similar. But the only difference is that the order was switched. This will make it easier to understand, oh, make sure our formulas are right, in case we are missing values. Then to populate the other cells with the same formula, we simply want to right, right click and drag over to the last cell and select fill without formatting. As we can see, we are missing values here, which is what we want. We don't want anything to populate these cells. But since we had the, the data for the totals, we were able to come up with the over under value, and therefore it was populated. So this is correct.